Hello, I'm going to make a video kind of showing how I use MRT and how it could be helpful for players in your raid. Uh, first things first is I'm going to open it up with a slash command slash MRT and it should open to this page and then how you navigate any of the options within MRT is on this side panel. First we'll start with the note function which will probably cover 90% of your needs and um, probably the most useful thing about this add-on. Uh, there's some options in here. Um, for the note itself, uh, first we want to enable it and then you have an option to lock or unlock and you can click and drag this bottom option to resize the note or you can click and drag um, anywhere else on the note to change its position. Um, as for the note itself, it will always um, show what is ever in this box from the most uh, recently sent note. Uh, in our case, we can just make a test note. So test, you write in here, test note, one, and then you would send, and then it would send that, whatever you wrote in here to all RAID members. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can only send notes if you are a uh, raid lead or raid assist. Um, so that you see how it popped up here. That's perfect. Uh, you can go into settings and uh, change some options for font size, uh, different um, uh, actual font, uh, the alpha of the note, background alpha scale, etc. There's some timers option in here uh, for some extra flavor. Um, but for our case, I'll give you an example of our Remnant of Nazul um, note. I set up some uh, raid assignments for who gets to take the, uh, the orbs and throw them off, as well as some raid cooldowns that will be used at certain points in the fight. Um, the majority of this is handled by a Google Sheet that's made by uh, Viserio, and I'll uh, open that up here. So this is a copy that I made. Uh, essentially, they did all the hard work in getting timers for each boss and made it kind of friendly to select uh, cooldowns and um, people's name. All, um, he's got some nice guides on how to set it up. But essentially, um, you could, I'll provide the link, and then you could um, just input your roster over here and then um, go into uh, certain mechanics that he had listed out in the timers and then add um, what cooldown and the player's name. And that's essentially what I did here. And then you can output this Google Sheet into World of Warcraft and it'll pop up like this. He's got a, um, uh, a cooldown sheet and a rate assignment sheet. I like to use both. They both essentially work the same way. Now, as for the note itself, um, you can do some options uh, on, on the personal side. So if uh, your really was to move and send you this note, uh, perhaps you don't need to see any of the healing cooldowns. And you uh, only wanted to know about who was responsible for the orbs. You could copy the note and you have a personal note option as well. You click up here and you could paste the note into your personal option. By default, it'll put it at the bottom of the note. But if you want to see only personal note, you go into settings and then show only personal note. That way, much smaller, don't need to see information not relevant to you. Uh, in my case, I normally have a massive note on my screen because I like to see everything that uh, needs to happen. Um, that is the bulk of what you would use the note for. Um, and you can make notes within this, um, uh, the program itself without, without using a Google Sheet. Uh, and there's different um, kind of codes you can make to uh, change uh, color, to only send to certain uh, specs. Uh, and that's essentially giving you all of these options here. And there's also some advanced help options. Very detailed, very awesome, and uh, highly recommend any uh, raid lead and players use this. Um, 
So we'll kind of just throw this in the corner for now and lock it and just keep it up. Next option is uh, rate cooldowns. Um, this is something I use a lot and you can see down here. These are how I have them set up. Uh, I have five columns set up. So we'll just put it in test mode and you can see the five columns I have set up. This will just track everybody's cooldowns in the raid. And um, uh, uh, when they're used or uh, what we have available, uh, a lot of times in progression, I'll kind of be, uh, if, if they weren't assigned, uh, I'll, I'll maybe not assign every cooldown so I could use some of them as flex. I like to sometimes use rally for that is uh, rally can really save you if um, you know like a big damage events coming out but you did uh, it's kind of variable to when that damage event is coming out I could call it for a rally or something like that and I would see the if, if I had it available in one of these columns you essentially set these up um, and you can select each spell I'm pretty sure this can track like every spell in the game which is kind of a player spell in the game which is kind of insane um, you would essentially set it to the cooldown to a specific column. In my case, I have five column setups uh, in the, the appearance uh, option, and then I would just move them into where I wanted them. And um, then it works off a priority system, which uh, goes from 100% to 0%. 100% means it is at the top of the uh, raid cooldown list. 0% means it's at the bottom. Um, so I just have it set up. I kind of tweaked with it how I like to see it. Um, on the left side here, I have my damage reduction stuff like barrier and um, like spirit links, um, uh, or mastery. And then uh, on the second row or column, I have uh, my throughput cooldowns like like in this case like salve him uh, trank. Uh, this third row, uh, I like to keep uh, externals, so like uh, pain suppression, uh, you get the idea, right? Some iron bark, guardian spirit, uh, sack. Uh, this uh, is nice um, if I can see a particular person with a raid mechanic that uh, is in danger, right? I can be like, uh, uh, paints, uh, paints up on tank because I know he's about to take big damage, or, or somebody uh, accidentally uh, uh, grabbed a or, uh, it took a fire pool or something right uh the fourth column over here i i threw up um a movement cooldown so I, you'll see i'll see my roars and my uh uh, uh wind rush totems and then this last row is going to be personal uh immunities um so if i soak mechanics etc um yeah so that's raid cooldowns and how i use it um not so much, uh, or not really important for players a lot of the time because, uh, um, but mostly I guess for uh, raid leaders, it, there could be some uh, an argument to be said about that for players tracking externals if they, because if a player calls for an external and they know it's there, uh, that could save them. It kind of uh, eliminates the need of um, a. a a raid lead or somebody else who is um, worried about something else um, but yep pretty useful uh, visual note is essentially the in-game version of raidplan.io it's MRT's version uh, I don't really use it that much this tier I used it a little bit last year to show notes for sire and how to place the uh, uh, the soaks um, but yeah it this is kind of a resource hog um, so it tend not to use it that much anymore plus uh, i like the formatting of the raidplan.io website uh, fight log i never used it but i'm pretty sure it is for um or it's mrt's uh, version of warcraft logs that you can go in game raid inspect is pretty useful because it'll give you a, um, a detailed overview of everybody in your raid or group and what gear they're using uh, what talents, other info, uh, achievements, soulbind powers. I like to see this because it'll also flash red when they're using a piece of gear that's not enchanted or not gemmed. And then that way you can kind of be on people's uh, uh, behinds about uh, getting enchants and stuff like that. Um, uh, also quite useful for uh, uh, group um, trinkets, right? Like last, last year we had uh, some group trinkets that were... Uh, improved with other people that were in that group so you could see who's using each trinket you can put them in the same group 
uh, raid check will give you different options for when there's a raid, uh, a ready check enabled. Um, there's some options in here for posting uh, like people who need to eat food or uh, uh, Vantis or uh, Augment Rune. It'll post it in chat. Um, I think I have yeah that turned off but um for a uh, a raid lead or raid assist point of view they will see a big uh, a, uh almost like a multiple check uh marks for each buff for each player to see if they have their food buff uh or if they have their potion uh, not the potions uh, uh flasks etc useful for a raid lead invite tools also useful for a raid lead this is um uh something that uh, is normally handled by the raid lead itself. Um, in the case of if you set it up prior to, you can uh, just get people to whisper you INV or any other keyword. Um, there's a couple options here. I don't normally use this because I don't form the groups, but uh, I'm pretty sure I, uh, I've definitely been uh, in a group where I've whispered the leader INV. And I'm pretty sure it's handled by those. Uh, raid groups is really useful. Um, because you can set up um, where you want each player in the group in the raid um, prior to. So a good example, this tier is on Eye of the Jailer. You have half the raid on one side and half the raid on the other side. Um, so I know that I want to have certain people split, like these are two demon hunters. I want either side because of raid cooldowns. Um, I want the priests on the other side because of their raid cooldown. The same thing with the shamans. So I'm able to set this up prior to. And then in uh, when we get to that boss, I can just select it and then apply it. And then it'll put all of these people into these groups. Very useful. Mark's bar is uh, a little bar that I had down here. It's for marking um, your current target on the side. And then you can also uh, use it to put down raid markers. I'm not in a raid group right now, so but these are all the raid markers ones. There's different options for um, uh, raid checks, right? So you can uh, it'll add this like different um, a different button to to do a raid check. Uh, you can also put pull timers and stuff in there too. But I don't use this as much anymore. I tend to use uh, I installed Opi, which I handle with all my raid marks. But uh, there is that option if you prefer the actual bar. Marks is useful too because if you want to keep a permanent mark on somebody, you would enter their name and then enable it. And then that person will always be permanently marked with star. Battle res it just shows you um, the current time for your next res available. And then in the bottom right, it shows you how many reses you have available. Timers, um, you can use this for pull timers or break timers and stuff like that. Um, I think uh, boss mods normally have something built in to allow um, pull timers, and I don't really use this. Uh, I use a, an interesting function about it though is you can set up this dynamic pull timer where it will do a pull timer based on any of these specs that are in the raid. In the case of sub rogue, it'll automatically if there's a sub rogue in the group, it'll automatically do 25 seconds. Why they need 25 seconds, I don't know, but I guess that's by default. Uh, rate attendance uh, just tracks the attendance up across all your uh, your kills or attempts. Um, that's handled by some of these options here. I don't normally use this. If I'm tracking attendance, it's normally through Warcraft logs. Stats. This is uh, interesting to see, like. Just uh, out of your curiosity, sake, like I, I look at back tier or last year, sorry, not sorry, two tiers ago. Um, how many kills or how many attempts it took us to kill Carapace, right? So it's 153 attempts. It shows you how long you've uh, you've pulled that boss, and um, and yeah, you, and you get different options here for uh, different types. Uh, loot history is useful just to see who got what and what groups you were in. Um, I mean, I don't, you don't necessarily need to use this. I guess if you were doing some sort of council and you wanted to make sure everyone was behaving in the council, you could uh, track something like this. Uh, who pulled is just the last person to pull. Um, 
in the encounter. I think it it does raid bosses. And I think it. I don't know if it does uh, in dungeons though. And then uh, you can uh, be cheeky and add this little message in chat. Saving log is is really really useful for me because it just auto enables combat logging whenever I use Warcraft logs. So in this case, every time I enter these dungeons uh, or these raids, and then whatever I have checked down here, it um, will auto enable combat logging. So I don't need to worry about uh, setting up a macro to uh, enable combat logging, and I don't miss it uh, for when I, when I am logging. But, uh, Weak aura checks are useful in some situations. If you have a player with an out of date add on that's causing issues, you can kind of you can tell if it's out of date. You can also uh, check to see if everyone's behaving. It actually has the weak aura for a, a specific boss. So if you had a weak aura that was handling um, all of your uh, rune assignments on Fate Scribe, uh, it's it would be pretty important for everyone to have that weak aura because if, uh, say, I didn't, it would show up that I didn't. And, it, you know, that's a, that's a pretty p important mechanic if you're relying on the weak aura. So that's, this is a good way to check it to see if uh, people have that. Um, one thing to note about that, though, is that the, uh, the player uh, needs to have MRT in order to show if they have the weak aura or not. So if they didn't have MRT, it would show that they didn't have the weak ore when they could have the weak ore. And then you have a profile. Uh, but that's pretty much an, uh, an overview of this stuff, and hopefully it was helpful.